Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at Disney Plus. So it doesn't really matter whether you guys have an iPhone, iPad, or Touch, this is the same thing for all of them. So let's just go right into your App Store. Under your App Store, just go into your search, and right there we're going to go into Disney Plus. So with the third option or so, should be Disney Plus, so here it is. Now for most of you, you guys are going to see Get. In this case, I already downloaded this on my iPad. That's why I see the cloud icon right here on my iPhone. So what I'm going to do is just tap on that icon and it's going to start downloading. For most of you, this is just going to be a few seconds. Some of you, maybe one or two minutes if you have really slow internet. Other than that, just a few seconds to download it. The app is free. Whether you guys have an iPhone, iPad, or Touch, it's free. The streaming service itself, once you guys sign up, it's paid. And yes, you guys get to choose whether you guys want a monthly basis type of thing or for the whole year. For the whole year, you will save some money. It's not too much. It's not a huge deal that you guys get, but it's a discount anyways. So to open up our Disney app, let's just click on open. Right down here, you're going to see try now. So let's just tap on try now gonna sign up with our email then it's gonna ask us to choose a password and after that it will ask you if you guys want the year or the monthly then you just have to confirm with your touch ID or passcode after that you guys will see this screen it's just gonna load up and we can add profiles into your account so I'm gonna teach you how to add profiles since you guys are most likely right there anyways let's just go back so on my bottom right hand side I'm gonna see profiles and most of you might see a screen where it says add a profile so right now I have three profiles already set up however to add any other profile I can just tap up here on that profile I can choose any icon and type in a name if I want this to be for my kids and keep it kid friendly then I can just turn this on I can turn off or on autoplay that depends I always suggest just going to autoplay just so you don't have to click for the next episode, it's just gonna automatically play the next episode. And right now I'm just gonna put kid for this one. You guys can put any name you like. Right now I'm gonna put save. And there we go, I have four profiles. Once it is safe for kids, so if I go right into it, I'm gonna see everything that's kid friendly. If I want to switch any profile, I can just tap down here below on the bottom right hand side and I can switch up to my own profile and I'm gonna see different content because this is everything, not just kid-friendly content. From here, if there's anything specific you wanna search, there is the search down here below, which is our second option. So we can type in anything, any movie that you guys like to watch or we can just go back home and explore each one. So for example, if you click on Disney right now, we're gonna see all the movies plus originals from Disney. And if I want to go back, I can just tap on home, for example. It takes me back. I can tap on Pixar and see the content here. It's going to be another ton of content. I can always scroll to see more, more. I can go back home. Same goes for Marvel. Scroll down. I can scroll to the sides to see more and more. Go back home. Star Wars. Same deal. I can scroll down, see what's up. Scroll through. Go back home. And National Geographic, same deal. I can scroll through, scroll to the sites, see view, view more, view more, view more, view more, and I can always go back to home. If you guys would like to download anything, so let's just go right into Star Wars. Right now, if I want to download this episode, this entire season, I can. On the right hand side, you will see those arrows, that's to download. So if I can tap on that arrow, it's gonna start downloading that chapter. So if I go into downloads down here below, I can see right there. So it's downloading in progress right now. When it's fully downloaded, I can see all my downloads right here. And I can also take off my downloads and delete them at any time. So let me just go back into home. I'm going to stop this download. I can remove the download or just pause it for now. But in this case, I'm just going to remove it. There we go. All right, so that will take up space on your iPhone, iPod Touch if you download anything. You do not need to download, by the way. You can stream anything without downloading. So if I tap on here, I can go ahead and resume because I already started watching that. I can go here, just press play and go ahead. Anyways, 
that's it for this quick tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.